Today I'm going to show you what's inside of an ignition coil and how it works to power the spark plugs on your car. Now on this Lexus V6 engine you can see the ignition coils are just down inside of here on the top of the engine. It's got a connector that goes to the ECU and the rest of the ignition coil goes down into the cylinder head and connects to a spark plug in the combustion chamber. Now the purpose of an ignition coil is to take the 12 volts from your car's ignition system and convert it to thousands of volts needed to fire a spark in your car's cylinders. A constant 12 volts as well as the computer's input will go through here and that'll go through a primary coil inside of here. That voltage is then transferred over through a secondary coil that fires the spark plug. Now an overview of how your ignition coil works is you've got this 12 volt power source that powers the ignition coil over here and that powers the spark plug. Now this is all controlled by this switch here which on older vehicles is the distributor and on newer vehicles it's powered by the ECU. So now I'm going to grind this open to see what's inside and just how it works. Alright now I'm going to break off the tip of it here and we can just see what's inside. So far we can see there's a couple of different layers on the outside here and then we have this iron core. Now this core is actually not a solid core like many transformers. It's actually a bunch of thin plates stacked up just like cards. So I was able to section this ignition coil so we can have a closer look at all the layers on the inside. So first off we have the plastic outside layer and that forms the body of the ignition coil. Then we have two layers of thin metal that go around the ignition coil and that's for electromagnetic shielding. Next up we have the primary ignition coil and you'll notice that the coils are actually fairly thick and there are not too many of them. Then that's followed by this insulator material over here that separates the primary ignition coil from the secondary ignition coil which is inside of here. Now you'll notice that the secondary ignition coil is actually a little bit thinner and it's more densely packed. And then finally there's the core material on the inside here that's made up of these tiny little slabs that are all put together. Finally I'm going to top the chop off of this ignition coil just to see what it looks like from the top. So near the top of the ignition coil where the plug is, you'll see that there's the circuits that lead up to the coils here. And as you go down here, you can see the start of the primary coil on the inside. And you can see these smaller windings of the secondary coil on the inside here. And if you flip it over and you look at the difference between the primary coil, you'll see that this is way thicker. And there's a lot less turns here on the outside compared to look how much thinner that secondary coil is and how much more turns it is. Now when 12 volts powers up the primary coil which is wrapped around the secondary coil which is wrapped around an iron core through the principle of electromagnetism it's going to induce a voltage on the secondary coil across the spark plug. Now the voltage is induced just when the switch is turned on is not enough to jump the spark plug gap to create a spark. So what's going to happen when you open the switch it's going to induce a change in the magnetic field inside of your step up transformer here and that's going to cause a voltage spike in both coils. Now the voltage spike on the secondary coil is going to be much more because you've got a lot more turns of coil here and that's going to create a very large voltage probably in the thousands of volts and that will cause the spark plug to fire and that will ignite the fuel. Now on the primary side over here because there's not so many coils there is still a voltage spike and that's why you have this capacitor here that will absorb some of that voltage spike instead of it actually sparking across the switch or burning out the ECU. And that's pretty much all the components that make up an ignition coil on your car. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.